What's up YouTube? I'm Jake, this little girl is Fiona, and welcome to Season 1 of Sailing Life Aquatic. <sighs> Good morning YouTube, coming to you from beautiful St. Thomas, although it's quite cloudy and rainy out today, so it's gonna be a fun safari taxi over the other end of the island, but I need to head over to the other end of the island. I'm currently in Frenchtown, a, a beautiful friend's Airbnb, and, well, beautiful Airbnb of a friend, and I'm gonna catch the uh, safari taxi today, and we're gonna go look at a bar very at 39. I'm really bad at filming when I'm actually going out and talking to buyers, so I didn't get that much of a chance to film this boat. I did take a couple pictures, so I'll include those here. But in the meantime, I liked the boat. I spent about six or seven hours just going through and tearing apart the whole thing, checking the hull, checking the rigging, checking the sails, checking the electronics and making sure this is something that I could actually buy and sail home. Guys, I put in an offer and he accepted. And this is no broker, private party deal, so we can move fast. So after that, I went over and I talked to the notary, and the owner needed two days to get everything off the boat. So we had a date set for the notary, we had the owner set to move off, and me set to move on. So next, I gotta go pick up my friend Katarina from the airport, tell her we got two days to kinda hang out in an island paradise. I've actually got a friend's Airbnb we're gonna go stay at, a different one this time, and it's really cool. And then from there, we're getting out of the boat and we're sailing five days back to Puerto Rico. Official. This is my boat. <laughs> what a crazy day. More videos to come. Say hi, Katarina. <laughs> but here she is. Her current name is uh, Life Aquatic. We'll see if we keep the name or not. I've got something else in mind, but I gotta do a whole ritual for that. So for now, it's Life Aquatic. <laughs> oh man. And this is the dinghy, <laughs> the best part. Woo! First dinghy adventure and we're on our way to the gas stop and water because we've, we've got diesel on the boat but the dinghy needs gas and we need water. I think Kat. All right, both first grocery run is done. Time to go get some water and get some dinghy gas and we're going back to the boat for some sundowners. water slash grocery run. Hopefully we don't need anything else. So, And hopefully today we get church so we can move the boat. Day sale number one. Not much wind today, so we're cruising at 2.9 knots, we put the jib away because it wasn't actually doing anything. And we're just heading straight downwind down to our destination, snacking our way there. <laughs> All right, well, as the white people we are, we ran out of mayonnaise, or didn't have any. So we gotta go get some for sandwiches. <laughs> what? A crazy boat, oh, and there's a cruise ship. Private yacht, cruise ship. The size is just absurd. I mean, that's clearly bigger, but that's 
just ridiculous. So today, we're getting ready to leave the island of St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands completely, and head over to the island of Culebra. Alright, so now that you guys know this boat's a Barbaria, I can actually leave the table a little bit uncovered. I don't want anyone guessing just yet. So, next, we're leaving from St. Thomas, kind of in Yacht Haven, and we're going to head over to the island of Culebra. And I have been here once on a friend's boat, and it was amazing because there is a sweet taco place, Culebrita, which is a beautiful little island with a lighthouse on top of it. Culebra itself is just fantastic, and of course, the restaurant, the Dingy Dock. We're also going to try and do a little bit of snorkeling and diving and check out Flamenco Beach, maybe even rent a golf cart and drive around the island. So stay tuned. I think we're going to plan a full day in Culebra and just sit down and enjoy a little bit of paradise. Also, I didn't get a whole bunch of sailing action in from the trip from St. Thomas to Culebra, but what I did capture has got to be one of the coolest moments I've ever seen. I just wish I had my camera with me. Phone doesn't do it quite as much justice, but here it is. As quickly as the whales came, they then swam off into the distance, and we turned our bow for Culebra, where we were quickly greeted by a flock of seaplanes getting ready to take off, probably to head back to Puerto Rico. After pulling into Culebra with the sailboat, we immediately dropped the dinghy in the water because we wanted to go for an adventure. After driving around and checking out the really cool canals, we decided to pull into the dinghy dock for a little bit of sundowners and some well-earned dinner. Crazy. <laughs> oh, they love that. <laughs> The next day, we woke up and saw such a beautiful sunrise, we decided we were staying for a whole nother day in Culebra. So, what better way to spend it than to go rent a golf cart, cruise around the island, and go check out Flamenco Beach, which is absolutely beautiful. And of course, the old World War II tanks that still sit there. So we swung by the airport just to make sure we were clear with customs, and then on the way out we even picked up some strangers that wanted a ride to the beach. Finally, with strangers in tow, we made it to Flamenco Beach, went and found some cold beverages, and then headed for the water. Normally, I try not to be a tourist, but these tanks were way too cool to not take pictures with. After our day on the beach, it was time to head back to the boat, but not without a little bit of fun in the golf cart first. And with Katarina driving, who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> All three golf cart boat engaged! <laughs> After dropping off the golf cart, we decided to go watch the little puddle jumpers come in and land in Culebra. And man oh man, were they coming in close to the mountains. I don't know if I'd want to be on that plane. All right, our motor is clipped on, dinghy's tied off, sun is coming up. I think it's about time we head over to Vieques. We're letting the motor warm up right now. 
See if we can go get our charts turned on and activated here. See if we can see that. Oh, gotta press the I'm not an idiot button. Still to be determined. All right, we've got satellites here. This is our position and we're heading out off to our next point. Happy sailing all. All right, let's see those anchoring skills. Or lack thereof. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so right now. Oh, What's I next? Just... Snubber. Yes, but I gotta lift this up first, right? Yep. Until it's tight. Yeah, at least until the snubber comes in and we can take it off. Go for it. Did you turn the windlass oh, on? Oh shit, no. <laughs> We'll be back in a moment. Me too. It's on. <laughs> okay. Probably a little more. Yeah, just a little bit more. Just so you can get that on. The thing is, remember, we don't want to drag the boat on the windlass. Yep. So now the boat's on the windlass, so. You can do it, chica. Yeah, remember, even if you drop that thing, it's attached to the boat still, so. Nice. All right, you think you can handle getting that guy off? All right, I'm gonna head back to the motor and uh, get us ready to shove off. Not shove off, de-anchor. I don't know, whatever it's called. <laughs> Bye, Culebra. So today we are setting sail for the south coast of Vieques. We're gonna try and cut our trip to Puerto Rico a little bit in half and just have a beautiful five to six hour sail today to Vieques. And then tomorrow we'll go Vieques to Puerto Rico. Woohoo! We are absolutely flying today. Seven point eight, seven point seven. Let's go! Woohoo! All right, go for it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> wow! Is it? Uh -huh. Awesome. <laughs> this beach is gorgeous. It is so big. It just keeps going and going and going. Going. And I saw a sea turtle on the way in, so hopefully we can find it. So we finally pulled in to Ensenanda Sombre, otherwise better known as Sun Bay Beach on the island of Vieques. And Sun Bay Beach it was. We saw turtles on the way in and loads of sea stars all over the floor. Then we decided to take the drone out just to get a few shots of the boat. After we were done playing with the drone, we decided it was time to make a little bit of dinner out of what we had left on the boat, tuna and mac and cheese. And from there, we were on our journey to go Dramamine hunting into town. And the waves were so big taking the dinghy through the gap in the neighboring islands, we couldn't actually film any of it, but what we did get is some beautiful pictures of the sunset that really makes this bay's name stand out. After a beautiful evening in the island of Vieques, we're heading over to Puerto Rico. It was a short 11 hour sail, well, actually our longest sail yet, <laughs> filled with flying fish, big waves, and lots of downwind easy sailing. There's Puerto Rico. Yeah. 
After 11 hours of sailing and a few Dramamines later, we finally pulled into the beautiful harbor we were looking for in the island of Puerto Rico. Next on the list, go pick up the Jeep and then do a little bit of island exploring for one day before Katerina has to go back to the States. What do you think, kitty cat? It's amazing. <laughs> good we're in focus all right just one other quick note I was gonna mention that if you want to stay up to date with real-time updates and see what's going on with little Fiona and I I'll try to put my Instagram here it's my first time on this whole YouTube thing so hope it shows up right about here otherwise I'm also gonna try and open a patreon account here in the near future so if you'd like to stay up to date with uh, myself and Fiona and see where we're at see what kind of projects we're going on um, I'd love to get out and meet new people. Networking is one of my favorite things to do, and just get out in this world and meet some of the most amazing people that exist. One other thing with that is if you'd actually like to pay for a Patreon account, is I'd like to be able to give back by either hosting live sessions with people or having people be able to reach out and specifically ask me any of their questions about boating, this lifestyle, um, you know, kind of some one-on-one -on -one mentorship. If anyone has any interest in that, it's something I would love to be able to help people with and get more people out in this community. So, more on that to come. Hopefully, a link soon. Stay tuned, and uh, more episodes on the way. I'm gonna hopefully try and launch one about every week to begin with, but working full time, it's still hard to do. So, stay tuned, and we'll go from there. Say bye, Fifi.